Welcome to another episode of Watch Once Over. My name is Big E. Today we're going to be looking at my latest acquisition. This chronograph may be my last. I was going to buy a show part chronograph, but I saw this and I picked this one up at a great price. And this watch has grown on me since then. Now, this is the 41 millimeter Longines Avigation Big Eye. It's patterned after a watch that was found by a collector and sent in the long jeans and that watch was 90 years old so this is a 90 year old design no date it has an eta l68 um l66 column wheel chronograph with a vertical clutch in there automatic movement as you can see under 12 o'clock and it has 66 hours of autonomy and I do see uh, other things that say 54, 266. Um, fully wound, I guess it may be 66, but maybe an average of 54. But who knows? It's automatic. If you're going to wear it all the time, I'll put it on a watch finder. It really doesn't matter. 40 hours will suffice in, in, in my book. Now, you have these pump starter pushers on here. Beautiful column wheel clutch crisp actuation. Let me start that for you. And this nickname for this navigation is the Big Eye because the 30-minute register, which counts off um, a big hash mark every three minutes for pilots, um, is bigger than the other two subdials. Now, the subdial over at 9 o'clock is the running 60 seconds, and then at the 6 o'clock subdial, that's your 12-hour counter. This thing runs at 28,800 vibrations per hour. It has a silicone handspring that aid in the anti-magnetic properties, 30 meters or 100 feet of water resistance, and it's a 41 millimeter case, and it's a strap monster because it's black and white. Now you have silver sword style hands, and the chronograph hands are going to be that cathedral type with just a plain old stick second hand it's so clean it's so legible i don't need my glasses to read it and it's just a beautiful thing on the back you have a long jeans with an old style airplane on there with some information about the uh, watch in the sunburst pattern but i love the flat black dial with the white green indices and the silver hands it's so legible there's no date to cork around with. It does have a long jeans sign on the crown. That's the only place you're going to get the winged hourglass logo is on the crown under the long jeans. On the dial, it doesn't have that logo, which is the oldest registered trademark out of any logos. This one simply has long jeans. It is really true to the original the original was hand wind i'll put that one up right next to it so you guys can compare them very faithful original now they do make this in a titanium version with a blue dial but it's not as legible to me and this watch coming in at 98 just a hair over 98 grams 98.2 grams it's plenty light enough anything under 100 grams is light enough but this is all stainless steel you have a uh polished stepped bezel and the rest of the watch is business brushed and then the pump style pushers are also going to be polished excellently neural crown this watch is beautiful 20 millimeter strap i'll give you some digital readings side to side on the case 41 the thickness is 14.5 and the lug to lug and you can see they pull straight down is going to be 49 so this one on my 7.25 inch wrist wears lovely I love the weight I love the style I love the versatility of this watch and to be honest with you it's grown on me for a watch that has a 90 year design 90 year old design this thing is really really um, I, I like, like it a lot. I like the concentric guilloche pattern in the subdials. As you can see, it is beautiful. 
sapphire top hat crystal with uh, AR coating on the inside. And it's just a beautiful thing. This is my pick for my chronograph. The loom is um, nothing to write home about, but it does have Super Luminova. Let me show you what that looks like. This is going to be your transitioning loom, Super Luminova. And that's all it's going to be for. It's not going to be dive style loom or anything like that. But the watch is still extremely legible. And I find myself picking this one up every day and leaving my other watches behind. If you want a nice daily chronograph with a column wheel and a vertical clutch, you can't beat this at $3,000. Uh, suggest a retail price and of course the street price is going to be even better so let me know what you guys think about my pick for my watch the long jeans big eye chronograph this is what it, in stainless steel this is what it looks like on my wrist now I like the blue too but this one I'm telling you is a lot more legible beautiful thing perfect chronograph and this one's mine it's my pick it's going to be my uh chronograph watch for a while my name is biggie that's the watch once over for today let me know what you thought guys think about this one god bless please subscribe and as usual i'll catch you guys on the next video thanks for watching